all life on Earth directly or indirectly gets its energy from the sun. We use a lot of energy. Just think about the use of the mobile phone that is becoming an extension of ourselves and often empty. We recharge it with energy from the grid. Energy that is continuously generated centrally. First with coal and gas and increasingly from sustainable sources. But still centrally and distributed via the grid for decentralized use. Centrally generated also means vulnerability in the event of terror, cybercrime attacks, technical failures, wars and natural disasters. And well, then you are literally put in the dark. Other drawbacks of central generation are the losses and costs during transport of energy through and maintenance of the grid. You should be able to generate electric power wherever and whenever you need it. And you do not need a central power plant then. Problem solved, you would say. Except when the natural energy sources run out. And then you have to burn a lot of fossil fuel again. Wouldn't it be great if you always have access to energy such as a hydropower? But then the needed physical circumstances must be met. There are also other options, but whether they make sense? Well, back to the beginning. The sun, the energy source of all life on Earth. It's about the heat and the visible rays of the sun in the form of light. But our sun, like all those other stars around us, also continuously emits invisible electromagnetic radiation, including neutrino radiation. Neutrinos are so incredibly small that for a long time scientists thought they did not exist. Later it was assumed that they do exist, but they had no mass. In 2015, scientists Takaki Kaita and Arthur B. MacDonald were awarded the Nobel Prize for Physics for proving that neutrinos do have mass. According to Einstein's theory, E equals mc square, a mass with speed has energy. Due to the very small size of neutrinos, they go through everything and everyone. No, not harmful, because then life on Earth wouldn't be possible. More than 60 billion neutrinos pass through every square centimeter per second. With the use of nanotechnology, it's possible to continuously convert this energy into altering micro vibrations that are converted into direct current via resonances in the meter material. This neutrino energy technology is called neutrino voltaic and is operational 24-7 everywhere. Think of an insect that vibrates a web. Only a neutrino is a lot smaller and stacking of highly sensitive structures is needed to generate, conduct and transfer these micro vibrations. The neutrino energy group acts as a spider in the web. It stimulates knowledge and research, but also ensures that further development remains on a high level through certification. Financial impulse ensures that manufacturers have access to the neutrino voltaic technology for production and implementation purposes in any electrical device. Neutrino Energy Group's technology is ideal for portable or even implanted devices where the battery capacity is permanently present and constantly needed. And also your phone with neutrino inside. Hi, mom, hello? Uh, no, you don't bother. I could talk to you endlessly, but, but I don't have time. I have to show my friends my new revolutionary device with game-changing technology. The neutrino voltaic technology gives independence from the grid and ultimate freedom. The future looks bright, with this technology also becomes available for electric vehicles and our entire households. 
Neutrino Energy, the energy of the future.